Hi everybody, just a really quick video today. Um, I just, uh, I in the past I had done a video regarding um, uh, like cheap options for like liquid latex when you do, um, like today I did a gradient, I also did some dishes so <laughs> it's kind of chipping away already today. Um, but anyway, I did some, you know, a gradient today and um, you know like when you do gradients or water marbles or something, um, just you know, liquid latex options, if you're not allergic to latex, that is, um, you know, to protect your cuticles so that, um, you know, they don't get nail polish on them and stuff, and it makes cleanup quite easier, too. So, uh, anyways, I'm just going to show you um, how I, like, what I use um, now, currently, like I said, I did a video several months ago um, about how to use... Um, hair glue, which that is still a good option. You can get that at Sally's. Um, this is another good option as well, and it's really, really cheap right now, and it's a perfect time to do this, too. If you do this kind of nail art and stuff quite a bit, it's such a good hack. So I went to uh, my local Halloween store, Halloween Express. Um, not sure if you guys have them in the area. I'm sure they have an online store as well or something um and I bought some liquid latex in like bulk <laughs> and I'll show you how much it is um so this is the bottle that I bought holy buckets right um so this is 16 fluid ounces one pint of this stuff um yeah it's it's crazy um and I got it for $14.99 now, it's funny because, you know, when I see people, you know, using like Simply Peel and, um, you know, other latex products, um, it's crazy how expensive they are because all it is is like a version of liquid latex. It's insane. So anyways, um, I mean, really, I swear these indie companies, you know, and I'm sure not all of them, but I mean, really, I'm sure they just pick up stuff in bulk like this. You could probably use some kind of a, a, a dye or something to, to color them and then, uh, you know, package it and sell it. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Um, so anyways, what I did um, is I got a little funnel um, and these you can get um, these little glitter funnels. You can get them anywhere. Um, I think I got a two pack at uh, the dollar store. I think it was Michael's maybe for like a buck or two bucks. Um, so then... I took my big bottle of liquid latex and I got an empty nail excuse me an empty nail polish bottle and from there um, all I did was so you can see how nice and creamy and workable that is very nice and it's not too thick or anything either it's like a really nice consistency so I'm just gonna I'm gonna paint some while I'm talking to you I'm just gonna paint some on my hand as if I were gonna be doing some kind of a gradient or something and uh, like I said this stuff is not thick it's definitely thinner than say like um, hair glue um, you know that you use because, uh, like I said, that's a good option, too. That's a latex-based product. And, again, you can get that at Sally's for really cheap as well, but definitely not in this flow-down size. Kind of blow on that so that dries. Anywho, um, yeah, the only thing with this stuff, like I said, it just it's very similar to, like, Simply Peel and stuff. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's consistency, and even its color. It's kind of weird. Like, hmm, did they just throw some glitter in there and package it up I don't know <laughs> but anyway um, so I just took this little glitter funnel and then just use that to fill the bottle so again super super easy so that's how I did that and um, yeah like I said uh, because this stuff is a little bit thinner consistency than um, like my, the hair glue from Sally's that I've used in the past you will want to you know when it kind of kind of blown out a little bit sorry uh, when the first layer becomes a little bit tacky it doesn't hurt to add you know like a second like coat over top of it just so it's a little bit thicker and then it's a, just a little bit easier to peel off 
Uh, but again, you know, if you watch people with videos, you know, or if you watch videos of people using Simply Peel, it's kind of the same thing. You never want any latex peel off product to be th too thin uh, around your nail because it doesn't peel off as simply. <laughs> uh, so anyways, yeah, and that's what I've been using to do my stuff. So I will be uh, back in a second for the peel off and we'll go from there. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so yeah, I was kind of just picking an end there. Um, I've been waiting literally like a minute or so, just like, you know, a minute or you know, a minute, 30 seconds or something like that, just like any other uh, peel-off latex product. And, and for the most part, it's it's pretty much dry. You know, you can kind of poke at it a little bit. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's dry. So yeah, you're just going to, you know, lift it up from one corner and, um, you know, do your, well, you know, do your nail art, your stamping, your gradients or whatever you're going to do, and then just, you know, peel it off like you would anything else. So anyways, yeah, really simple, really easy. If you have any stragglers, just brush them off there. So yeah. Anyway, um, I, you know, and then it just comes off in one big clump. Again, um, this is the cheapest, cheapest option by far that I've found to date. Um, so yeah, just, again, just wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, go and uh, pick some up from your local uh, Halloween store. Um, again, I'm sure you could order uh, this kind of stuff on eBay, but I just thought, ooh, you know, Halloween's coming up, perfect time to do some shopping and see if I can pick some stuff up without having to order it online and paying shipping. Yay! So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!